uh, buy our retirement home and, and get moved into that. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Jen. What's up? All right. What's up, y'all? Morning. Good morning. What's new? Share, give me some good news, Tawantas. You've been busy. I have been busy. All right, tell us what's going on. Had a great day yesterday. Um, first thing that's going to start off today is that I'm going to be writing a buyer um, contract this morning. So that's a good thing. Hopefully that'll get accepted today yep. or by Monday because I think they got multiple offers. So that's one. Um, yesterday, going through the database was very productive. Very productive. Uh, hang on. I want, I want more people to hear this. I'm going to, I'm going to pause you on that. Can, okay. let, me give you some, let me give you a bit of advice on the multiple offer. I'm going to talk a little bit about this today, actually. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Is, um, and I, I don't mean to imply that you've not done this or you don't know this. I'll just give you a couple of, couple of tips. <clears throat> um, the, the key to it is making sure that that listing agent knows that working with you and your client will be the most incredible experience ever. Okay. Right. So if you just blindly send in your offer with, you know, you know, terms that are similar to other people, then, then they're just going to view it in terms of um, uh, just like the others. Right. right. So there's a number of things you can do to call. Where is everybody today? Okay, here, here's some people come. Um, um, call that listing agent and, and say, hey, I want you to know I am, I am working with one of the best buyers I've ever had. Okay, okay. this guy is super well qualified. He is super mm -hmm. um, cooperative and responsive. Um, he is ready. Okay, I want to know that I am going to be the hardest worker that you've ever worked with. There will be no balls dropped. We all deserve a slam dunk every once in a while. And I'm going to do my absolute best to make this a slam dunk for us. Gotcha. Right. You might call that buyer's lender and say, hey, will you call this listing agent, please? And let them know how, how much of a pleasure it's been working with this buyer. Right. You see what I'm saying? Morning, Rondo. Good morning, Marinelli. Good morning. Morning. All right. All right. Morning. Maybe people are, are, are uh, maybe they, they added so many people to their database with vendors yesterday that they are a little, they're a little late to the party today. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay. Uh, Tawantis was in the middle of sharing some of her uh, recent successes. Can I, uh, in, can I ask you to continue, please? Yes. And so, um, well, actually, I'll, I'll start off just again, just to give everyone just a good idea. So today, going through the database on um, yesterday, as we were already all instructed to do, was very beneficial. I uh, went through my database, and as I started making calls, these are actually connections that I've either met or done business with at some point. So it wasn't like it was super cold where we're just blind leading. It was some type of relationship or something that happened. So as I'm going through the calls, you guys, I have uh, from yesterday a lead for a listing that uh, for two listings, actually. And also uh, I got three buyer um, referrals from individuals that are looking for investment deals. Wow. And then, um, yeah, just, just done yesterday. And then also the, you mentioned to us to also make the business connections with some um, businesses and sales. So I did that actually yesterday too and um, reconnected with one that I actually knew that was a hairstylist that I had went to before and was like, hey, I want to be your preferred person. Every time that you have people coming in, let them know that I do my real estate services. For some uh, pause, reason, you guys, I never pause knew right that. There. Pause okay. right <laughs> The hairstylist? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the town mayor. Right. <laughs> okay. They know every, everybody. <laughs> they know who's got marital problems. They know right. who's going to have a divorce. They know right. who's buying another property. They right. know everything. Right. Butter up a couple of hairstylists. 
you don't have to call another stranger in your entire life. Right, right. And that that was honestly like the whole goal. So I'm on there talking to him and he's literally just like what you're describing. He's like, oh yeah, I get people coming here all the time. So we going on, we had this great conversation. Um, so from there, basically, I, I think that, like you said, Bill, that's going to be not only just one planet C, but I'm going to make sure this time that I really nurture that relationship. Because for whatever reason, you guys, I don't, I don't know why, you know, people that come to your house and all these things that we know that you should really have the reciprocal relationship with. I don't even bother to basically go out of my way to say, hey, make sure you send that person to me or whatever. But now, since we're talking about this so much, it just makes sense to say, hey, yeah. why don't you also send such sense to me? Because I keep coming to you. Why can't right. you you're, to you're supporting their <laughs> business and right. Their families, right? right. And, um, and I'll talk about a, uh, an additional strategy with that in a second, but why not? I mean, right. you, you got to be careful. You got to make sure that you're, you're making deposits before you start asking for stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, making a deposit in some respects is giving the, the man or the woman or the business or whoever your business. But right. if you ask, ask a question or two about how they're dealing with COVID and how they're dealing with, you know, kind of all the stuff that's going on in the world right now and, you know, all these kind of things. And then once you get into that relationship, what, if you ask, you know this, if you ask people questions, they will not stop talking. Right. Okay? And if you just quiet down and you let them talk for a little while, when that conversation's over, they, they're they like, oh my gosh, I love Tawantas. And they I didn't why. I picked figure it up. out why they love you. But the reason, one of the reasons why they love you, quite frankly, is because you let them talk. Yeah. People want to talk, right? <laughs> uh, so don't forget to, I mean, I, I'm sure you're doing this, but deliver some value. Hey, let me tell you something I learned, you know, in yeah. my, my coach and, and, and my real estate business, you know, is helping me grow my, my business. And maybe, you know, here's a tip. Maybe this will be helpful for you. Right. right? right. Um, you know, start each day thinking to myself, like, who can I connect today? Mm -hmm. Right. Can I connect the, the painter with the gutter guy? Can I connect the hairstylist with the tattoo person? I mean, it, it could be anything. You're just the connector, right? right? Yeah, I know. I'm a close. I'm a um, one close. other thing that you can do is make sure that you are, um, those connections are visualized as well. What I mean by that is, for example, if you have a closing, mm -hmm. um, don't just put the picture of like you and the buyer with the key at the closing table. You can tag the home inspector, you can tag the lender, you can tag the closing attorney, you can tag the, the person who did the termite inspection, you can tag the structural engineer that came out and made sure everything was okay. Like, how can we, um, how can we bring, uh, 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 how can we be grateful in a very visual way to those that are helping us in this transaction? It's not just us and the closing attorney like we know, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you were to say, you know, hey, let's cat tag, you know, Susan Corley. She was really um, instrumental in helping me through a part of the contract, right? It's just people like grateful, grateful people, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. All right. Sorry, I cut you off at the hairstylist. Please continue. Oh, okay. You and, Well, I'm just going to, because, uh, you know, you're dropping nuggets. So I'm writing that down. I think that's great. But um, I mean, seriously. So, uh, but the other thing is that I made another connection to um, with someone that actually had did something for me in the past. And um, I went to him and told him, I'm trying to revamp my business and I want to basically partner with individuals so we can kind of do the same thing, work together, build our business and make them great and whatnot. And so this inspector was like, everybody you sending me, you guys, he is so thorough. $325 for up to 3,000 or, I mean, let me make sure I got that card. 2,000 square feet for up to 2,000 square feet on all of my inspections. He did my last inspection for someone and it was so thorough. I had never received an inspection report that thorough and, and detailed. But again, it was just another great outlet because he was like, you know what? I've also been looking for a realtor that I really wanted to send people to when I'm going out because people call me. But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't have someone that I always call for people or send them to. So that was another right. great one I wanted to just share with everybody. That's awesome. You know, periodically, um, 
you know, I would say that the vast majority of the time, a buyer will get the introduction to the lender, let's say, or the home inspector after they already meet the agent, right? The agent's mm -hmm. kind of driving that train. However, every once in a while, a seller may call a home inspector to say, hey, I'd like to make sure the home is in tip top shape before I approach a real estate agent. And so the home inspector gets that call from a random seller. That's not normally the call they get. And this particular home inspector says, hey, don't you make a real estate decision without talking to Qantas first. Now, um, uh, I, I think that's phenomenal. Now you can go on social media and say, hey, I just had an awesome experience with yeah. ABC Home Inspection Company and tag them and say, hey, you know, they really made my buyer feel comfortable about the property that they were buying. And I just, I'm so grateful to be partners with somebody like this. Boom. Okay. Now you get exposure to all of their Air audience people. as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you know what they're going to do, right? Is they're going to find a way to, to highlight you in their discussions with their folks. Makes gotcha. sense? Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. All right. Thank before, you so much. Before I forget and we go on to the negotiation stuff, I want everyone to take out a pen and paper and I want you to write down a date for me, please. It is going to be October the 16th. October 16th. Um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I believe on the morning call, I talked about Gene Rivers for a second. Um, Gene Rivers is Andy and Leslie's coach. Um, Gene is OP of several market centers. He's a, he's a KW master faculty, like probably the best instructor, in my opinion, um, in all of KW. He's going to be teaching a full day class. Um, I'm almost certain it will be free um, on career visioning. It's part of the, with the Keller personality assessment and growing a team. But even for those that are nowhere near that right now, I'm going to ask that you dedicate that day to come and be a participant. It's going to be over Zoom, of course. It's for GLG, October 16th, Friday. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and block that off for me, please. He's also going to be teaching, although I'm not, I, I think there probably will be a small fee for this, um, December 10th, um, a full day listings clinic, December 10th. Now, does anyone have any observations about what I just did? You didn't you just add. added value. To oh, us. Well, that, I, thank you for that. But uh, that's not where I was headed. <laughs> you didn't okay. ask. Language pattern. Well, you guys are, you guys are like inspecting my every word. Though I appreciate <laughs> all that. I, um, Give us the hint then. The hint is that this, I'm giving, it's August 27th. And I'm telling you to block off a day on October 16th and December 10th. Do you think that Mr. Gene Rivers is time blocked? Mm -hmm. Okay. He probably has time on his calendar on when he's going to allow himself to go to the bathroom. Okay. Like he already knows what he's up to on December 10th. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you guys, how, how serious are you about your time blocks? Right. How committed are you to your time blocks? Right now, Gene's a very popular guy. Do you think he'll have additional people that want his time on December 10th or on October? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you think he's going to be saying? I'm booked. I'm committed. I've made a commitment. Mm -hmm. Right? I have an appointment, all day appointment, whatever it may be. But it's definitely not going to be, uh, hey, sorry, Andy, uh, you know, Gary needs me that day. Or sorry, Andy, um, my, my pet's sick or whatever. Okay, so I, I want you to have that in, the, in your mind as you're saying yes and you're saying no to people that want your time. Is, is there a commitment that you've made that's gonna move your business, your life forward, that you're allowing somebody else's possible emergency, unlikely emergency, get in the way of? Make sense? Mm -hmm. What right. time is it on the 16th? Um, I believe it's going it, to, I just got the message that say it's going to be all day. So uh, maybe eight to five, something like that. Nine to five, nine thirty to five, something like that. 
So we'll talk later uh, once I know the time about the, the morning session, okay? Okay, um, hang on one second for me. Hey, Mel. Okay, next Wednesday is gonna be our bold 100, okay? Um, I know we've done this for a couple of months. I've had what I would consider um, slightly below average attendance and participation. And I'm gonna ask that you clear your schedule for Wednesday. And we're gonna start off the month. It's gonna be August, the, or, I'm sorry, September the 2nd. And the goal is let's go set a bunch of appointments and add a bunch of people to our database and have a bunch of contacts and um, you know, really hammer it hard so that we don't have to spend all month staring at our goals and wondering how we're gonna get back on pace, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna all come in here for the morning session like normal, okay? We're gonna get all riled up and excited, okay? And then um, we're gonna make, I'm gonna keep the room open all day long, okay? Um, you can turn off uh, the video, you can turn off the sound if you want, and I want you to do whatever you do when you hear the word lead generation, okay? Whether it be social media, texting, calling, whatever it is, I want you to focus on uh, pushing the gas real hard on lead generation that day. The, the true bold 100 is to have 100 two-way conversations. You guys know who's gonna participate with us? Oh, and I'll, and I'll be there, I'll be doing it too. I'm not, I, ne I never ask you guys to do something I'm not willing to do myself, okay? <laughs> All right, hang on, I don't know what's taking her so long. All right, look, look who's going to participate with us. Come on. Hi, guys. Melody's going to participate. Hey, Melody. Good morning. Okay, great. Good morning. All right, t tell them what you're going to do next Wednesday. I'm going to do next Wednesday. I'm going to do 100 calls to you guys. And all Yay, guys Melanie. Gonna, all you guys are going to say yes to me, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm calling for, but you're going to say yes. No. Hey, Tom. Can you call me first. Who? <laughs> can you call me first so I can start my day off right? Yes, I will call you first, Dan Alicardi. <laughs> I am an A. <laughs> I know it. I know you are. You feeling better? I am feeling better, and I go first thing in the morning. I had I had to cancel my uh, my scripting for tomorrow, but I am getting injections in my back, so okay. I'm so oh. excited. Dan's gonna get out of bed and oh, go, Dan go gonna take get out of whiskey. bed. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, you guys have a great so one. We're gonna we're gonna Thank you. gonna put on a headset and everything, aren't you? Gonna look no, good. you know my hair. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mel's hey, gonna. Evan and Ella. Evan and Ella. <laughs> she did let me touch her hair like a year ago, one time. Uh, okay. So uh, we're gonna have some fun next Wednesday. Okay. Mel's gonna participate as well. You know what I said to her? I said, you know, next Wednesday is bold one hundred. And she says, you know what we need? We need a 100, right? And I said, you know what? We are on the same page. That's exactly what I was going to say. So Mel's going to participate too, okay? We're going we're gonna to set, we're going to um, lead by example, okay? All right. I want to show you guys one thing. Anyone have any questions on anything we've discussed so far? Anyone, anyone? Okay, can you guys see my screen? All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. I, I wanna just bring this up to you guys one more time, okay? Um, and, it, and quite honestly, it's probably not the last time I'm going to bring it up to you. Um, this is a page that uh, I think is so critical to think about, okay? Especially now, okay? And I, I, what I don't want you to, I, I'm not making light of anything that's going on in the world. Please don't hear that, okay? But I'm just saying that we have a lot of stuff going on out there that can 
interfere with our mindset. Okay. And what we've talked a lot about this idea of what, what can we control, right? If a buyer loses their job and can't buy the home, we have no control over that. Okay. All we have to do is love on our, on our man or a woman or whoever, the buyer, and let them know that we're here to support them because when they buy and when they get their job back, they'll buy through us, right? So when life happens, there's really two directions we can go. One is, sorry, one is by taking the accountable um, uh, direction and one is by thinking like a victim, okay? And when life happens, you basically can say to yourself, I'm gonna seek reality, right? What's happening? Acknowledge reality. This is the way it is. Own it. If it's up to me, if it's, if it's to be, it's up to me. Finding a solution. What can I do about this? And then you take action, right? Get on with it. Let's do it. The alternative is to avoid reality. They ask no questions. They fight reality. Well, that's not how I see it. They look to, for somebody to blame. If everyone would just do their job, right? They make personal excuses. It's not my job. Why should I be involved? And then they wait and hope, wondering if it's gonna change without their involvement. So what I want you to understand is that is negotiation to some degree, right? The first person you're gonna to have to negotiate with is yourself, right? In your mind, you're gonna to have to basically take stock of whether is this a, a, a fact that I can do that, that I'm in control of, right? Is there anyone that I can reach out to that might be able to improve this situation? Is there anybody that needs a little bit more love than they're normally getting, right? Um, is, there, is there anybody that we can um, uh, rally the troops on? I, I don't, I'm trying to decide if I should say this or not. Um, you guys think I should say it? Mm. We have an agent that just had a, a surgery. Okay. Um, and, uh, it, it was, it was a relatively minor surgery, but it was very, very painful. Okay. She was experiencing a lot of pain. Um, and we've been chatting and been trying to help her out a little bit. And, um, she said, Oh, um, my, my surgery is set for like a month or like six weeks from now. And I said, gosh, you're going to be in all that pain for that amount of time, right? That's life happens. This woman's in a ton of pain and she was just told that it ain't going to get fixed for a month and a half. Right. And I said to her, I said, who told you that? She was like, oh, the, whatever the clerk or whatever the, the person at the front desk, call them back. And I said, you asked to speak with somebody else. And I want you to describe the pain that you're experiencing. And then I want you to ask when the soonest you can get in is. So she did exactly that. And she just had her surgery three days ago. Okay. It was probably a man that told her it's going to be six weeks from now. Okay. Somebody that hadn't experienced anything like what she was experiencing. She needed to talk to somebody and talk to them straight. Okay. Negotiation is not all, it's not about real estate all the time. It's about asking for what you want. Right. We were talking before at the very beginning, before a handful of you guys came on with Tawanta, she's in a multiple offer situation. Okay. I've said this a few times, but I'll, I'll repeat it. <clears throat> um, the goal of a, the goal for a buyer in a multiple offer situation is to have their pitch, right? Their offer um, uh, stand out from the rest, right? So, you know, they're all gonna be pretty similar. Okay, this sales price, this closing date, this type of loan, I mean, they're all gonna be relatively similar, right? And more often than not, the seller looks for the, the net number, but that may not be the most important thing. <clears throat> so you can call the seller and say, <clears throat> is there anything in particular that my client or that your client is looking for, right? That's outside of the highest price and the quickest close, right? And they might say, well, I really, you know, that chandelier in the, in the family room, you know, in the foyer is my grandmother's and we really want to take that with us. And um, we're going to be out of town in 30 days. So we, we really want is a 40 day close. Beautiful. 
So if I didn't ask those questions, I would just be like the rest of the offers. But if I ask those questions, both of those are pretty, you know, pretty reason, not crazy request, right? So if my client's looking to win or looking to get financial terms that they're interested in, then maybe they let the, let them have the chandelier that's sentimental. You see what I'm saying? Um, so if no, you don't ask the question, right, what is it that you're looking for? What's most important to you, right? You'll never know. So now that you know what you might need to include in the contract, then you say maybe what I was talking to Twantas earlier about, which is, hey, I want you to know something. My buyer is awesome, okay? They are super responsive, super cooperative. They are very well qualified. There is not gonna be another co-op experience that you will have with another agent that beats the one you're gonna have with me, okay? I'm gonna do all, everything in my power to make sure this deal goes through without hassle. Okay. We all deserve a slam dunk every once in a while. And I want you to know that working with me is going to be so simple. Okay. Matter of fact, you should be getting a call from the buyer's lender in the next five minutes. And they're going to say, they're going to tell you about their experience with the buyer. So lender calls up, say, Hey, Joe, you know, he's, he put an offer to buy your listing at one, two, three Hill street. He is phenomenally qualified. He has been super responsive and cooperative with all my requests. And I'm really looking forward to working together. Do you have any questions? See what I'm saying? You're going a little bit of the extra mile to make sure that you win. All right, what are y'all hearing? That you have to ask for what you want. That's right. Have you ever asked for something that you wanted that you never thought what you'd get that you got, ended up getting just simply because you asked? Rhonda, you're shaking your head. Like sometimes, I mean, I, look, you can ask my wife, I push, I push hard. And every once in a while, she's got to be like, will you stop? Right. But I'm going to push. Like I want what I want for my, for my people. And I'm going to push hard to get it. Does that make sense? And you, you won't know unless you do ask. I mean, there's no harm in asking. The worst that can they can respond is no. That's right. That's right. And when you, like, let's say your buyer is, maybe they don't want to go to 310 when the offer, when the list price is 300. Sometimes the, ex, the, the negotiation is not necessarily improving the terms. It might be improving the experience, right? So figure out where you're weak on and see what you can do to improve any of the other parts. Make sense? And negotiation is also things like, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget this. So you got a uh, Megan Dwyer. I think she's teaching a class buyer presentation on Monday, by the way. She was um, the woman that brought me to Keller Williams uh, many years ago. Forever grateful for her. Okay. Um, she had a listing in bindings and that's how we initially met. I had the buyer, she had the seller. And I remember she called me right after I left the listing and she wanted feedback. And I said, man, it's kind of expensive. You know, it, it seems like it's a little high on the price, honestly. And, and she's like, okay, you know, I don't, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I knew damn well, we were going right back to the office to write an offer. Right. But I'm setting the stage. I'm letting her know that. I thought it was expensive, right? You know, that's negotiation. We're just having a conversation. I'm letting them know, hey, you know, oh gosh, you know, a lot of things on the inspection report. So we'll, you know, I'll sit down with the, the buyer and see what they say, right? You got a couple, you know, you got some minor things, but you got a couple bigger things as well. So, you know, we'll sit down and we'll look over everything and, and see where we want to, how we want to move forward, right? So it's, it's always, it's not, it's, um, I hate to say it's a game, but have some fun with it for crying out loud. Okay. I can't see so many of your faces. Who, who wants to turn on their, their, uh, their video today and, and show me a smile that proved to me y'all are paying attention. All right. Love it. Oh, you guys are great. Come on. You look great. Let me see your face all the time. All right, who has questions? 
Who has questions? Not a question, but just an awesome remark uh, about what you went through, Bill. That was, that was good stuff. That was a great way to start today. Thank you. Thank you. And we didn't get, um, Marinelli was on yesterday morning and she's been talking about how you guys are, you're starting to see some of those, um, those seeds that you've been planting bloom. So I'm very, very proud of you. So tell, just, we'll, we'll close with this idea. I'll let you, you give us all the, the boost for the day. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of walk us through like the, the mindset of like spending the last couple of months, like I've got to assume that there were days where you're like, am I ever going to get paid again? right? And you're just putting the work in and day in and day out and you're adding people to your database and you're surprising and delighting people. And then all of right. a sudden, poof, you got buyers and sellers left and right. Walk us through what you're thinking. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure. Yeah. So I just real quick, we, um, you know, we were trying to just stick with the plan, um, sticking with a plan that was prescribed to us. I think the, this advice that we get from from you, Bill, is it's been scrubbed and tried and true. And so we were like, well, let's go ahead and use this advice. Um, stick with the plan. Yeah, those 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 days were like, 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 damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Um, um, but you know, I'm not gonna try to say we're at the apex either. You know, I mean, we're gonna still do the best to stick with our plan. Um, I mean, we have our schedule today going in thinking we'll do a lot, all this lead gen for the morning and then do this and do that. But we have to tweak our calendar a little bit to, uh, to accommodate these new leads that have came have, that have come in. So we're going to do just that, but we're going to, we're not going to let the good news like hijack our efforts, uh, of today. Does that make sense? Like we're, we're, we're going to try to still focus on those new, new leads, but we can't forget about long ball and trying to stick with the plan of seeding for future possibilities as well. So we're going to try to figure out how to do a, a reverse bold sometime in September. Okay. Um, we got some ideas there with that. So, um, so I think it's all about sticking with the plan. Um, yeah. Mindset will get challenged with those hard wins, but I think, you know, it's more about, everyone here has just been so good to us. And so our hopes is that um, we can give back as much as we're giving as, as we're receiving. I love hearing that. Let me, I'm going to draw a picture for you based on what you just said. Okay. Picture. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a picture today. <laughs> I stole this from the, from the big room. I there love, we go. I love drawing things. Okay. <laughs> this is the average real estate agent's income. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is when they have no money and they say, oh my gosh, I better go find some business. So they, they generate leads, they book a few things, yeah. and then they're up here because all those deals close. Right. And they've got nothing in the pipeline because they got busy servicing the business and didn't commit every day consistently to spend, even if it's an hour or two hours or whatever, generating leads. And so here is when they generate the most leads, yet they have the least amount of money. And here's where they're busiest and they're letting their pipeline fade away. The problem is, is down here when you're generating the leads because you got into high action because you're broke, you don't have the right mindset because you're broke, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then you have this kind of like, you might persuade somebody or go, you, you might, might move a little bit from the consultation, consultative, educating, patient mindset to the, hey, you need to buy this home even though the foundation sucks, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's because you're, you're, you're in need of money, right? And so what we'd like to see is if your lead generation goes like this, your income is going to go like this, right? Yeah. That, that, it's so true. Yeah, we've been on different parts of that of the, of the of that roller coaster there. So yeah, we got to keep thinking like just see if we can get do some kind of outreach today. Just do something, you know. Don't end the day with a complete zero on the board. Do something, and it'll add up over time. Take take action. That's exactly right. So who can I surprise and delight today? Who can I add to my database today? Who can I do something 
slightly surprising for somebody today. How yeah. can I how can I give somebody something they weren't expecting? Um, I heard a where did I hear this? Um, was it on the coach's corner the other day? Um, it's a really really good line that I that I heard, and then I'll I'll end with this. It was um, somebody was talking about basically their big why in the business, okay, and they said. They strive to create experiences that others may not be able to create for themselves. Right. How can you use the power of your business to create experience or for people that can't create them themselves? Right. You have a special, you have special and unique access to technology, special and unique access to uh, sales training and market knowledge and, and presentation skills. How can you use that stuff and go help somebody make a really smart decision? Make sense? Yeah. 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 All right. We got a big day today with PC. So please come back in the room at, uh, what did I say? 11 o'clock. Is that right? Um, 11 o'clock. We're going to do a little pop-up class on systems. Okay. And then at four o'clock, we're going to do um, a, a role play with buyer, the buyer presentation. Okay, I'll, I'll do the buyer presentation. Whoever um, wants to volunteer can be the buyer. Okay, I'll be the agent. Um, so 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock systems and four o'clock to five o'clock um, buyer presentation. The YouTube channel is completely updated. So don't forget to tune into that and subscribe. Hit the notification button and y'all have a great day. Great. All right, thank you.